You're watching The Arise News Hour. Now, this month is Women's History Month, a great time to celebrate women who've had a positive impact on the world. The event aims to incite action against inequalities faced by women every other month of the year. Well, joining us to talk more about the significance of Women's History Month is Khadija Sisse, a Sierra Leonean poet and the editor of Sable Magazine, a uh, magazine publication which provides a platform for African writing in the UK. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Uh, firstly, how important are international events like these in promoting women and the work of women? I mean, they're very important because when you look at all the events that are on, mm. you always see, I will almost always see a mixture of women of different ethnicities, different ages, different races, all coming together to an event. So it's really good to see that women are coming together to support each other. And of course, your work as editor of Sable magazine means you give a platform to African writers in the UK, many of whom still say that contemporary literature is dominated by a white male middle class. Would you agree with that statement? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, there's actually a, a new committee being formed of the Publishers Association to try and make those changes. There is already uh, an organization which set up on, on diversity and publishing, and they have a newsletter called Equip. But we're really trying to actively do this change. It's been going on for a long time. It's very, very slow. Now, um, you're involved with something called the Modern Pan-Africanist Journey. Yes. Tell us more about that. The Modern Pan-Africanist Journey is my actually my title of my second poetry collection and what I decided to do was actually try and make a, a movement going from from printing press over to like digital and do mm. an app so I'm basically trying to show people about pan-africanism through poetry and it's going to be a timeline looking at poets from the time of um, Marcus Garvey, Dubois, right up until the contemporary time so that young people can see that mm. pan-africanism is on their doorstep and they can do it through poetry. And you're also working on a free educational app to go yes. with your second poetry collection, yes. which includes yes. noted pan-african women. Tell us That's more right. about that. Well, yes. I mean, there are women like uh, Gladys, uh, like Gladys Caisley Hayford, Gladys May Caisley Hayford, and she was a poet. And her 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 um, father was famous mm -hmm. as Caisley Hayford. Caisley Hayford tend to be quite well known. And her one of her descendants is also a poet who lives in Yorkshire, and she's also got work actually going to be on the app as well. So the women are a mixture of across the board. They're not only necessarily just born in Africa, but they take on the principles mm. of Pan-Africanism and show it through their work. And of course, less than one in five African women has access to education. How important an issue is equal education for both genders? I think education is the number one thing uh, in Africa, but it needs to be the right education. Mm. You know, we don't need uh, education of everybody just you know, um, of course, professions are important, but we also need agriculturalists, we need scientists, mm. we need everything across the range. So, you know, I, I, you know, education for everybody is very important. Let's just broaden this discussion mm -hmm. to include President Barack Obama, who mm -hmm. in 2016 Women's History Proclamation focused on closing the gender pay gap. Yes. This has recently been a hot topic of conversation, as you know, in the national media. Why do you think it's so important to him and, and possibly to the world? Well, I think it's important to Obama because the first law he passed when he got in was around um, the issue of women being able mm. to, uh, if they needed to, be able to, um, around the law, to try and be able to get their equal pay and equal mm. issues. And, you know, that was seven years ago and nothing much has happened since then. So before he goes, I feel, I think he feels that he needs to really make that uh, make a step around that, especially since it's mainly women who supported him to get mm. in. So I think he needs to make a stand. Of course, he also uh, recognized mm. that we're not yet in a post-feminist state and that work must still be done to secure greater rights for women and those of all genders. And I presume you agree with that. Absolutely. These things take a long time. It, again, it comes down to education, education of, of different things. And these things are slow. But we can't, you know, having the International Women's and History Month in March puts a focus on it, but it can't just stop there. You can't just look at it mm. every March. You've got to look at it all the time. Absolutely. And constantly go on and go on. And there are a lot of people, a lot of women and men locally who continue to do that kind of work, and we don't hear about them. 
but we do, they do that work. At least yesterday, I heard that the, uh, there was a Palestinian teacher who won the Global Teacher Prize, mm. which is great, an ex-refugee. Those kind of things are wonderful to happen and need to also continually be highlighted. Beyond the things that you're doing that we've talked about, mm -hmm. I mean, History Month, as you said, is going to end. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do next? carry on working and promoting the, the writers that I do in different spaces, in different venues, in different countries. Are I do you a making lot of work a in West Africa. In places like the UK? I hope I am. I believe I am. People actually, you know, do say that I do. I mean I work with different people in different areas. So mm. for example I'll be on a panel at the London Book Fair in April. Again talking about the, how translation is activism as well and how translation makes a difference and this is not only translation of language mm -hmm. but translation in terms of cultures coming together and how you cross borders so like crossing borders of language and crossing mm -hmm. actual borders all of those kind of things they do make small but significant differences okay um khadija sise thank you very much indeed she's a sierra leonean poet and the editor of sable magazine thank you very much indeed thank you